morning. Caught me just before I was going to put the almond in my mouth. I told you we were going live. I know. I asked you if you were ready. I was. You said yes. You're all correct. <laughs> all the assumptions, all the statements made therein. So how are you doing today? I am doing well. How about yourself? I'm all right. How'd you sleep? I slept well. I slept next to this lovely young lady. No, you did, did you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was awesome. I don't know about all that. No. How was your workout? Workout was good. Yeah, what'd you do today? Um, today was back, which I like back because back doesn't seem like it takes me as long. Okay. You know, but I, I mean, I do a lot for it. It's a large, one of your largest body air, body parts. So, um, but somehow it just seems to go quicker. Plus, I did the ten minute cardio blitz. Well, that's good. To start, that was nice, and then I did abs at the end. Okay. Which included lower back. Well, that's good. Okay. Yeah. So it was a good workout. And yourself? I did legs. Yeah. And I was very bored with it. Yeah, you told me you were bored. So I had to come up with some new exercises today to help me not be bored. But that's all right. Got it done. So that's that's a good thing. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's our anniversary today. Happy, happy anniversary. Happy balloons. Happy Yay anniversary. for us. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. And there's apparently singing on our anniversary. We're <laughs> five years today. Yes. Um, we're going to talk about breakfast. Breakfast. So I got two questions recently. Someone asked, why do you guys eat oatmeal every single day? And then someone else asked, what if I don't like oatmeal, what can I eat for breakfast? Right. So let's start with the first one. Do you remember 40 odd years ago when you started eating oatmeal, why you started eating oatmeal? Yes, because back in that time, um, when I, and I started eating oatmeal back when I was bodybuilding, um, I did it because I had read some paper, read some studies that talked about the benefits of eating oatmeal every morning. Um, that it's that basically just good for your system. I, I can't really remember the total details because it's something we could look up again. Um, but I remember reading and that I was convinced at that time that, that it was a smart thing to do. And then since that time, it's been reinforced by more research and more studies. Mm -hmm. And even recently, uh, one of the one of the Esselstein was it Esselstein mm -hmm. was talking about the the benefit of eating oatmeal. So it's one of those things where I got knowledge early, and the knowledge didn't change over the years, like it seems to for a lot of other things. Right. So uh, yeah, it's just a great way to start your morning. So oatmeal has a lot of fiber, both soluble and insoluble, which is really, really good for your GI tract and for your biome, which I talk about regularly about how your the GI biome needs to be healthy if you're going to process food properly. Mm -hmm. And oatmeal feeds that. It also has a lot of good starches in it, which we talk about eating starch. It's got protein in it. And, um, you know, so it has basically everything you need. Fiber, it has a little bit of fat starches and, and carbs. So right. it's a great way to start your morning. Um, and you can add anything you want to it to make it right. taste good. Right. So, you know, that's also, it, it picks up pretty much whatever you put in it. And Esselstyn was talking about his wife adds maple syrup, right? Is that what she said? I, brown I, sugar? I think she uses brown sugar. Brown sugar. Not a lot. Like no. I mean, she's not making it swim in brown sugar, but she no. does add some brown sugar. Well, but, but I mean, this is the point where, uh, as we've said about uh, Dr. Esselstyn, is he's very strict. He's very hardcore. You don't deviate. You don't eat nuts. You don't eat seeds. And, and so and he's like, eat the oatmeal with the brown sugar if that helps you eat the oatmeal. Yeah, his point is is that, you know, the teaspoon of brown sugar that you put on your oatmeal isn't right. what, what's going to kill you. Right. There's a lot of – your body can process a little bit of sugar. It's the sugar in the ridiculous volumes that Americans eat that's the problem. Right. And, and if you – Go ahead. I was going to say, and if anybody's wondering about these doctors that we always throw out there – um, actually, if you go to our website now on <coughs> almonds, <coughs> on the resources page, we have the actual um, the books and the videos, the right, lectures, and, and, and the lectures, which are YouTube lectures, which are free to view. I mean, you can just go click on them right on our website and view them right there. Yeah, on so, the resources page. Right. So if you have, if if you're wondering who are these people they're talking about, there's stuff on the resources page that'll tell you. So, what's Laura have to say today? Five site, what is that? I... Oh, talking about yeah. the biome and studying oh, it. Oh, okay. You have to let us know what it teaches you. Yes, absolutely. What you learn. And I guess the thing is, knowing that is great, but what do you do with that information? Yeah. I don't really, I don't know. But, um, hey, you know, it's good to know, I guess. Right, right. Good knowledge, all knowledge is good knowledge. And what we're learning is that these numbers that doctors are basing, you know, physical fitness on, 
some of them are so old and so archaic that they're not really relevant, but that's right. what they had to work with, so that's the numbers that they use. Right, exactly. Yeah, so that's kind of bizarre, but that's going so, on a different path. Yeah, that's a different thing. Mm -hmm. So we eat oatmeal because everything we've read says it's really good for us, and you know, equally, I'm putting lime juice in mine today because I have lime juice and I can. <laughs> um, and you're a lime juice fan. I am. And we've, we've had really good experience with it. Like eating oatmeal makes us feel good. It lasts. It yeah. sticks around. You can, you know, we eat breakfast now and we won't eat lunch till like 2.30 or 3 in right. the afternoon. I do snack in between. He does. I, I'm not a I'm huge fruit. snacker. Yes, I'm um, fruit. You guys will see that if you're members of um, rnrjourney.com, you'll see our, our food journals. And right. his snack stuff usually has something on it, whereas mine, I don't, I'm just not a snacker. Yeah. Actually, my snack stuff always has something on it. <laughs> Not usually, always. Um, so then let's answer the other question is that, well, what if you don't like oatmeal or you feel like, like I can't eat rolled oats. I feel like they're really mushy. That's why I eat the steel cut oats. They're, they're better textured for me, which I, so I didn't eat oatmeal until I found steel cut oats because I just right. felt like it was so mushy. Um, so, but what if you can't eat oatmeal? What are your other options? And when the, when the person asked me that question, the first thing, the first question I asked in response was, well, how stuck are you in the paradigm of what is breakfast food? Because that that can be a challenge. Right. If if you only eat breakfast food for breakfast, unfortunately in the United the States, options. breakfast food is bacon and ham and eggs and hash browns steak. and I, you know, have you seen and steak eggs? and eggs for yeah. breakfast? And that's not healthy food. That's not right. a good option for breakfast. Or it's processed cereals. That's your other option. Right? right, or pancakes and waffles pancakes loaded and waffles. with syrup. Loaded with syrup. And, then, and I'll be the first to tell you, you can't. It's, it's actually a crime to eat pancakes unless it's actually drowning in, in syrup. <laughs> and I like butter on pancakes, so right. obviously we don't eat waffles. And we right. don't, so we don't eat those. We don't choose to eat those things because right. of the way we choose to eat them. Right. So what are your other options? So if you can get outside the paradigm of what is standard American breakfast food, and if you've ever eaten pizza, cold pizza for breakfast, it means you're not trapped in that paradigm. Right, so exactly. You can do this. Um, there are a lot of other things. In England, they eat beans on toast right. for breakfast, which is a great healthy option. I was going to say, option. it was actually a, a tremendous option. A great breakfast. option for breakfast yeah. is, is beans on toast. Um, also, quinoa, if you don't like oats or there's something about oats you don't like, quinoa is also another great right. grain that you can adapt to anything you want to put on it. So you right. can eat quinoa just like we eat oatmeal. Right. You can, yeah, you can eat it with brown sugar. Or you can eat it with maple syrup. Or Fruit honey, or anything or fruit else. Or, yeah. You know, with all the different things that we put on our breakfast in the morning. Yeah, all yeah. of it could go on quinoa just yeah. as easily as it goes on oatmeal. And, you know, it's interesting because I, I had someone say to me, and I posted this the other day, I don't eat fruit because of the sugar in it. And I find it interesting that people don't eat starch because carbs, and they don't eat right. fruit because sugar, both of which are perfectly healthy, good foods for you. Right. But they're happy to eat cheese and dairy and, right. and eggs and meat. And never, ever does it occur to them that the saturated fat and cholesterol in it will kill them. Well, that's because all the marketing dollars go where big food are, are pushing the things that they want to sell. Yeah. You know, and what they don't want to sell, I mean, big grapefruit does not have a lot of money. No. You know, big orange and big apples, they don't have a lot of money to uh, go against, you know, big beef and uh, big right. processed food. And you know, that's another thing you can eat for breakfast is, you know, any kind of fruit is going right. to be good for you for breakfast. Yeah, totally. But then, you know, think outside of that even further. The, the person I was talking to, um, I suggested, well, what if I made a salad recently and I posted it on the R&R &R Journey page that was made of rice, beans, and corn, and right. it had a mango dressing on it. There's nothing that says you can't eat that for breakfast. Exactly. So if you can if you can get outside the paradigm of what is breakfast food, which mm -hmm. you have to break anyway because breakfast food is typically a meat-based or an animal-based product, right. um, then you can eat anything you want. I've been known to eat whatever leftover dinner you've, we have. Yeah, I mean, you've had you guys a, have seen me. Yes. I eat random stuff for yes, breakfast absolutely. sometimes. Absolutely, you do. And that's fine. And I guess it's the only thing, other thing I would add is that you can eat anything healthy for breakfast if, if you just get out of that that, that box. Mm -hmm. Yes, that says it has to be breakfast food. Breakfast food is no different than dinner food. It's food, right? You know, and it's and if you eat good quality food, it shouldn't matter what time of day you eat it. Right. And somebody was telling me that he he's responsible for feeding his kids dinner. That his wife feeds them um, during for breakfast and lunch, but then he feeds them dinner. And he's like, I don't know what to feed them if I don't feed them meat. I'm like, well, why can't you feed them oatmeal? He's like, for dinner? And I'm like, well, why not? If they're right. not eating it for breakfast, why can't you feed it for, for dinner? Right. And you're, you're right, Laura. Burritos for breakfast are awesome. I've yep. eaten them for breakfast. Oh, yes, Bean burritos are phenomenal yep. for breakfast. 
I always make them too big though. They always fall apart like because I can't try to put too much stuff in there. Yes. Well, they're, they're dream burritos. You make them in a dream one day, you could actually eat them that <laughs> yeah, close it. That doesn't ever work. <laughs> but that's a great breakfast food. Yes. So it's a matter of having stuff in the house that's easy to eat. And, you know, if you're one of these people who's rushing out the door to work, which, you know, a lot of people are, right. things that you already have made, like steel-cut oats that have soaked overnight or quinoa that you have in the fridge or brown mm -hmm. rice that you have in the fridge with beans, those are kinds of things you literally just throw in a bowl Eat quickly. Throw, heat them up, yeah. take them with you, whatever. Right. You can pack them and bring them for lunch. Right. Um, and then, you know, in the summertime, I eat, I eat a lot of, I call them smoothies. They're not really smoothies. They're ground up fruit, and then I put all of my nuts and seeds in it. So they're really crunchies. Crunchies. That's <laughs> but, probably more accurate. It's definitely more right. accurate. But so that's something. I don't like them in the winter because they are cold, and I prefer to eat something warm. Right. But that's an option for breakfast, or for any meal, mm -hmm. actually. So basically any meal that you eat anytime can be eaten for breakfast right. so yeah she has a a favorite comedian of song about overstuffed burritos yeah I'm, I'm a fan i always make my burritos overstuffed yeah so but that that's the point you know i wanted to, to say if you're not an oatmeal fan and that's fine if right. you can't you know i always say if you can't eat it or you don't like it then don't find something right. else that you do right. like exactly. um I can't imagine why you wouldn't like oatmeal, especially if it's steel cut because it's not mushy. But hey, you know, that's that's reality. Yeah, I mean, some people just don't like certain things. Or yeah. At least in their mind, they don't like them. So right. I mean, that's fine. So uh, but quinoa, yeah. rice, great options. And there's, I mean, there's tons of other things. Um, making your own muesli is a, is a really good yeah. option where you, you know, put rolled oats and then whatever else you yeah. want to put in it. Mix it all up. I may have to add some. Uh, you can make your own trail mix too with a lot of healthy today. things that you can, if you have to eat while you're driving, mm -hmm. that you, some, you can just grab and, you know, put in your mouth as you're driving. And you can make a trail mix that is so healthy for you and so good for you. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you can, you can always use almond milk or, you know, whatever kind of plant-based milk you like. If you right. want to eat a cold cereal, or even if you, you prefer to make your hot cereal with something other than water, you can right. make it with it with a plant-based milk. Exactly. So that's a, always a great option as well. Yeah. Do you have any other thoughts about breakfast other than <sighs> eat anything you want for breakfast? As long did as I mention, plants. Did I mention I eat oatmeal for breakfast? Did everybody get that? And, and then, I think we got and then I put hemp seeds, chia seeds, uh, now I'm going blank. Oh, Amla, uh, pumpkin, pumpkin seeds. seeds, sunflower seeds. I put flaxseed in his yeah. oatmeal today. She's stuck in some flaxseed in my oatmeal today. Spirulina. Blueberries, bananas, and spirulina. Did I say spirulina? I don't know. We both said it And now. I mean, it looks nothing like oatmeal when it's done. No, but, look at uh, it. Here he has it stirred up. Look how it's it's green. But it's good for him. It's good, and I and like it's, it. It's it, yummy. That's, I mean, that's a lot of food. Look how big that bowl is, and yeah. it's full. Yes. So. Yes. But th so that's our thoughts about breakfast. You can eat pretty much anything you want for breakfast. Right. Um, I would definitely, if you're not a, a grains fan, I would recommend um, beans. Beans. And either over rice or quinoa yeah. or even a potato is really right. a good option for breakfast. Right. So that's going to give you the starches you need yeah. to make your day. Yeah, a three bean salad. Yeah, what's wrong with that for breakfast? Mm -hmm. You know, it has everything you want. And you can mix a little bit of rice in there and it would be awesome. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. So, yeah. so don't don't get stuck in the American paradigm of what breakfast food is. Right. Um, think outside the box, and you can eat anything you want for breakfast. Right. Right. I mean, so the term breakfast, lunch, and dinner is really a marketing, you know, uh, thing. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, they they market it so that they can then say this is the food you should have for that period of time. Mm -hmm. But the term breakfast, of course, came from breaking your fast, which is the overnight, which has nothing to do with breakfast. It has the time because. You think overnight, but sometimes people won't break their fast back in those days until the evening when they can find food. Right. I mean, breaking your fast was when food came to you. When That's, food was available. Right. So let's not get caught up on what breakfast Means. is supposed to be. Exactly. Yeah. 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 We all we all eat what our parents taught us to eat. We have to learn to eat other things. Exactly. So exactly. that's our thoughts about breakfast, why we eat oatmeal, and that you don't have to eat oatmeal. You can eat anything you want as right. long as it's plant-based. Right. Just make it yummy. That's there you all. go. <laughs> right? That's it. And that's it? That's it? That's all we got? Okay. <laughs> Ending so, is hard uh, for him. <laughs> yes. Um, share, like, these do a lot of stuff. I didn't. Go ahead and do uh, that. I'll say so. Um, please. Get, get value from this. If you get value from this, uh, from these videos or anything else that we do, please share it. Uh, share the R&R &R, uh, Journey page on Facebook. Our new website, which is rnrjourney.com. Please share that. Like us. You know, smile at us. Send us likes. Send us likes. Um, anything you can. It was appreciated. And with that.
we will say, eat real food, not too much, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have we'll a great day, We'll see you day, tomorrow. Guys.